We are going to solve two-step inequalities today. And you should take notes. And mm -hmm, let's go. Math with Miss B. Math with Miss B. There's a thousand other places that you'd rather be. But you're watching Math with Miss B. How to solve inequality? Solve like an equation. When solving an inequality, if you multiply or divide by a negative, flip the symbol! That's the biggest part. Okay, so we want to talk about symbols and names of symbols and the indicators that we use when we're graphing them and shading them. Um, if you watch the one step inequality video, you already know this, okay? You ain't new to this, you true to this, okay? Anyway, yeah. Solve the inequality. Okay, so two step inequality, two x plus four is greater than or equal to negative 24. We're going to subtract four from both sides, subtract four from both sides. So we're gonna get two x is greater than or equal to negative 28. We're gonna divide by two on both sides and we're gonna get x is greater than or equal to negative, 20, negative 14. Did I multiply or divide by a negative on both sides? No, I did not. There was only a negative on one side, so therefore I'm not going to flip my symbol. We're going to get these numbers on this number line. We are going to find the negative 14 and decide, is it an open circle or a closed circle? Closed. Are we gonna go left? Are we gonna go right? Are we gonna go left? Are we gonna go right? We're gonna go to the right. Very good. Okay, so I have negative b minus two. First, we need to get rid of what? The negative two, right? By adding two to both sides. And then what are we gonna do? We're gonna bring down negative b is greater than 10. How do I get rid of that little negative in front of the B? You divide by negative one. On one side or both sides? Both sides, so when we multiply or divide by negative on both sides, what happens? We flip our symbol, so now it was a greater than, now it's gonna be a less than. So looking at our number line, Open circle or closed circle? Open. Left or right? Left. Very good. Negative 11x minus 4 is greater than negative 15. Let's go ahead and add that 4 to both sides. And then I'm going to get negative 11x is greater than negative 11. We're going to divide by negative 11, divide by negative 11. Am I dividing? by a negative on both sides? Sure am, so that means I flip my symbol, x is less than one. So on my number line, open circle or closed circle? Open, left or right? Left, you're getting good at this. Seven n minus one is greater than negative 169. What are we gonna do? Add one, add one, good job. 7n is greater than or equal to negative 168. What are we going to do? Divide by 7. Is it a negative? Nah, so we're going to leave that symbol alone. Open circle or closed circle? Closed circle, left or right? We're going to go to the right. So now, we have two more examples. We have m over three minus three is less than or equal to negative six. I'm gonna start the same. I'm gonna move my constant. And then I need to get rid of the coefficient, which technically is one third. So I'm going to multiply by three because that's division. Multiplication cancels out division, yes. So m is going to be less than or equal to negative 18. Did I flip my symbol? No, because I did not multiply and divide by negative. On both sides. Has to be both sides. 
Open circle or closed circle? Closed circle, left or right? Less than is left than. That's how I make my kids memorize it. Okay, so then I have four plus n over three is less than six. What do we get rid of first? You're gonna subtract four on both sides? Absolutely, yes you are. And I'm get n over three is less than two. So then we'll, how do we get rid of that three on the bottom? Multiply by three on both sides. Is it a negative? Nah, so the symbol's gonna stay the same. Open circle or closed circle? Open circle left or right? Left. Good. Go back to the video. See if you can do the examples on your own. And like, comment, share, subscribe. Tell everybody you know. And be good. Bye.